Hello boys and girls and welcome back to the channel. In today's video, we are going to be looking into the Click well, YouTube channel because they've went dark. Oh yeah, if I forgot to mention at the beginning, timestamps will be in the description. It'll have all four theories, all timestamped, and the conclusion that I have made. So as you all know, I haven't been posting for quite a bit and apparently so has click recently i was looking at lufu vlogs and she bought her own house congratulations but nonetheless what happened to the click house what happened to click and i was looking i looked up the click youtube channel and you it might not be able to see that well but it they went dark they went dark no click nothing and then i looked what was their most recent video because i haven't watched a click video in a while well, it was one month ago. If you actually look at it, it was in 2019. So there are tons of theories that I've accumulated and made myself. I looked it up. No one else had this a video like this, so I decided why not do it. So yeah, in this video, I'll be telling you my theories on why Click went dark. Let's get is the same as why I wasn't posting. It was that, well, January is the start of a new year, right? So you got Christmas, then you got New Year's, and then everyone has like your New Year's resolutions and stuff like that. But usually January is a nice time for vacation. It's a nice time to hang out with family. And well, YouTube ain't popping. Because most people are like, oh, I'm not gonna watch YouTube because it's part of my New Year's resolution. Nah, 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 nah. And well, January is a kind of a slower month for most YouTubers. So maybe they're taking a break from YouTube so then all the other content creators can catch up with their own content and have more time with their family. But the only issue to that is that click, if you look at their community posts, which would be where they might post their, oh, we're taking a break. Their last community post was also one month ago. And guess what? That one month ago was most likely in December, so 2019. And yeah, it's just unseen click Fortnite World Cup stuff. Yeah, sure, that's great. But it doesn't say, oh, we are now taking a break for the month of January. Because right now, we are in the month of February. So if they were taking a month long break, they would have announced it and probably came back sooner or later. So next week, maybe. My second theory. Have you ever maybe followed a gaming development company like Bungie, let's say, or Epic? Um, whenever they go through big changes, let's say for Epic Games, they went dark or they went completely silent on social media and made everyone guessing like, oh, what's happening next? What can we expect? And all that sort of stuff to build up anticipation. So then when their next video comes out, it'll be BAM, punch in the gut, 8 million views, like super easy. This strategy would work because first of all, 2020, new year. And also, also, this is not being like me like uh, shitting on the click house or anything. I'm just making an observation. But if you look at it, so their first ever click video all together was the click house tour, 3.5, 3.5. And for the first season of click, so 2018, I'm pretty sure, they were like averaging like a pretty decent amount of views. So like you got 10 million, 8.6, 13 million, 5.3. Their lowest, it looks like was three, no, two point, no, 1.3, 1.3, but that was the click rewind, okay? So around that, they were averaging like 5 million views per video, let's say. But then when you look at the last of season, 2019, um, yeah, that it's just not as good because you don't you see one 16 million, you see one 8 million, but you're looking more around the 1 million to 3 million ratio. So maybe, just maybe, click management is thinking, wow, this past, let's say 2019, was not our best year. And if we look at like the graphs, our decline is going like this, right? It's slowly going down. So we need, need like some sort of marketing strategy to get them back up in views. So this could be a marketing strategy of going dark and making people anticipate when the video is and let's say it could be as simple as oh clicks new house tour only cray and baza but yeah i i don't know it's just sort of strange that they're kind of like moving into something like this my third theory is actually very like different so 
if you look at, let's say, um, Fresh's or Laser Beam's, uh, I don't know, like vlogs or videos, they are in a new office. So is many of the creators, like Muzelk, Laser Beam, Fresh, mm, I don't know about Korean Bassett, but maybe, I don't know, I haven't seen their new office. But if you look at it, they're in a new office, and that was the click office. You got like the click members, then you got the click management, then you got like the basement. But if you look at the lastest click videos, like the very lastest, like the 10 million, 10,000 10, beer pong, or the click reads mean comments and tweets, guess what? Those aren't, those weren't in the new click house, okay? The new click house did not have a brick wall. Those are in like the lower levels of the click office. So what I'm thinking right now is that they went dark so then they can make the transition from click house to just click basically they all work in the same office but they don't live together the only issue with that is where did Cray and Baza go that's the only thing Baza would have made a vlog let me just search it up real quick okay so Baza hasn't made a vlog about it. creator or Cray has not made any sort of video about it and well like yeah it's super like it's super strange like I don't know I don't know what's gonna happen I, I maybe Cray and Vaza are living in like separate or the same like apartment maybe I don't I don't know they haven't made anything but loser fruit definitely got her own house so that must be a trend or something they must be going from click house to click just click where they make weekly vi or make videos together but they are not living in the same house this goes with the same theory, but if you look at Creators, oh my god, I keep on messing up his name. Cray's new videos, or newer videos, the last two, let's say, before you would just see him and like, it's like this. It's, you just see him and green screen, and you got the game going on behind him. But very recently, the last two, you've seen his chair, okay? You've seen his chair. So that could mean one or two things. The first thing, Oh, we just got a new chair. What's the big whoops? Oh, we got a new chair. Congratulations, new chair. Doesn't look that comfortable, but congrats. But the second reason is they he moved houses and in the process of moving, usually people refurnish, let's say. Oh, I didn't like that old couch. Uh, when I move, I'm gonna get a better couch, right? So he's doing the same thing. When he moved, he got a new chair because in the process of moving, he was like, oh, I need all new stuff because I'm gonna be living in an all new home. The only thing is, is Baza gave no hints whatsoever. I, I don't watch their streams though. So if they did mention something in their streams, comment it in the description, uh, comments. But Baza had no indication of moving whatsoever. So that, that this third theory or second theory is like pretty solid. My one of my more final theories is that, well, remember how I said that Click was going, like the views were going down? Remember, Click is a company, right? They want a, each like quarter, let's say, they want a certain amount of views or like, they just need that certain amount of views. But if you look at it, if they're not getting the, the amount of views and let's say Muse, all the creators aren't being paid properly, well, in the new 2020 contract, they might not sign it. They might not be like, oh, I click has been going downhill. We might have to cut, let's say, um, this random guy. We have to cut people now. Or they would just cancel it all together because click was just going downhill. So this could be the 10,000 beer pong might have been the last click video. And the last one might be, sorry boys, we have this due to some sort of um, issues or all the creators want to focus on our own careers type idea. That might have been why they cu cut Marcus. Remember when Marcus left? It was like Marcus wants to do his own um, work more on his like channel or something, personal needs. But that could have also been since he was a bigger um, channel, let's say his contract or his manager was like, yo, Marcus or slash prestige clips is worth more than this. So they try to bargain, but they realize, well, Click doesn't, need, well, Click does need Marcus, because it's Marcus, but Click is like, yo, we can't do it, so I'm sorry, but it's not just not working. That is why they got Tana, or yeah. 
Laser Beam's sister, if you don't know. That's why she got into the mix, because if you look at her channel compared, <clears throat> if you look at her channel compared to Prestige Clips, well look, if you look at it, who, who out of the two is more relevant? One has more subscribers, one isn't, and one is the sister of, well, one of the members already. So that's easy. You got one person, Tana, that good relationship, that means good chemistry, not as big of a community, and it's a girl. Why would you say, oh, it's a girl? Well, if you look at it, Loser Fruit was the only girl in the, um, well, click atmosphere. So when they added a new girl, that might have, they were trying to think, oh, that might boost our community because only 70% are boys and 30% uh, are girls. But if we add a new girl, then maybe that might boost our community to be more 60-40, you know what I mean? But they decided to drop Marcus but they got Tana instead, and that was perfect. It was working out very well. The chemistry between Cray and Tana was very good. The sister-brother relationship, very good. But the only thing that went astray, let's say, is that, well, I don't know. It's, Click was trying to make deals, let's say. Let's just say Click was trying to make more deals. And they were trying to see that even if their views go down, they could still make videos as long as they have their platform. Like, the same amount of people, but they don't need to pay as much money to those people, right? Click wants to make money. But if the, the Click channel isn't making enough money, but they can make enough money to pay the same amount of people, just not as much, well, that's what they're probably gonna do. And their click, just like general company, has grown so much. And my last theory is like probably the worst one. Probably the worst one possible. Worst one possible is that click grew their staffing so fast that their budget went totally astray. No, they got too much staff, their office was too much money, so click had to cut the house like just cut it they couldn't afford the house so they decided oh click has 2.5 million subscribers so let's cut the house let's cut a major person in it and that should give us enough budget to get more staff and well an office for everyone to work at so then it's still click and it's still a group but technically they're killing two birds with one stone because that office will work for click management and the creators. So instead of paying for an office and a house, they only need to pay for one. Even though it is three floors, they still only need to pay for one. And well, like, Click just in general is very expensive. You're living there. You need to pay for electricity, water. You need to pay for land. To, I don't know how Australia works, but you need to pay for the land taxes. You need to pay for taxes in general. And for Click to pay that much taxes, is crazy so that's why they moved to a one payment type uh office and well like i don't know it's it's just too hard to tell it's the first month has went by so the they're not taking a break maybe maybe they're taking a couple months break but i don't know it it just seems so strange that they went totally dark no twitter no like no they changed their profile picture no one does that unless you went totally dark where the click thing is done. So I don't know what to say. Maybe they ran out of content. Maybe they they just decided it wasn't benefiting anyone. Maybe it was because Muzilk signed to YouTube and his contract specifically stated that he can't uh, represent any other companies. But I totally doubt that though. But yeah, I, I don't know. It's just like, it doesn't work. Like, it just doesn't work for their branding, oh, my bad. It, it just doesn't work. If Click is like funny, kind of like bam, they're, they haven't developed that sort of idea of going blank and like waiting for their viewers to be like, oh, when are they gonna post? They haven't developed anything like that. They have been a bang, bang, post, post, get the views, be funny, be entertaining. They would never make a video about mysterious, and all that sort of stuff.
So maybe they're starting that so then they can continue the trend of going dark for January. But I don't know. It's just a little confusing because if you looked at Mr. Muzelk slash Muzelk's vlogs, the basement is looking pretty full of stuff like TV, workout room. There's no like blank space for them to do almost anything. So yeah. I don't know what to do. I think they're just focusing on their creators. They probably should have made a community post or a video talking about it, but that's just me. That's just me. I hope you boys and girls have enjoyed, and if you did, please leave a like and subscribe and like it, obviously, because, well, 